hi guys welcome back to my channel guys today um i'm going to be working on a reef i want to make a star reef um and this is the open collaboration called reef galore um the theme is red white and blue um you could make a reef you could make a garland you could make a flower arrangement um use the hashtag reef galore 24 and this is for the 18. So, um, I got some mesh here. I bought red, white, and blue. But also, what I did was I bought one with all the three colors. So, I want to incorporate this one as well. And also, I got some, um, they call it Patriotic Scatter. It's pretty thick. This is good to make a garland. So that's my intention. I want to make a garland. So this is what they look like. They're like pressed cardboard. So that's what I'm going to use as well. I don't know. I may make a garland. I may not. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, pause it. This is uh, six inch by five yards. So I want to see if I could get maybe like 13 or 14, 6 inch um, long. Oh, also I go, I'm going to be using Chanel stamps. So I'm going to um, place my Chanel stamp on my start. Um, I will be, it's, it has the three rows. So I thought it had four, but it has three. So... I'm going to do a red, white, and blue, and then I will incorporate some of the mixed color in between. All right, guys, let me do that. Let me get ready. Um, and this is hosted by the Grace Life DIY Home Decor and myself, Debra Cabasa, Home Living. Right now, I don't have the name of the co-host, so once I get the names of the co-host, I will link everybody's channel in my description box below. So let me cut this and then I'm going to come right back. And by the way, guys, I also forgot to mention that I have, I picked this up as well. This uh, four, four foam wine. So they have the ribbon and this one as well. So I'm going to see if I incorporate. I'm not sure that I will incorporate everything on the reef because I want the reef to show what it is. And I don't want it to be overcrowded. So, yeah, guys. I also have ribbon here as well. So, we're going to be using some of that. Hopefully. I am not mm -hmm. sure. So, let me get comfortable here. Let me start cutting my mesh. And then we will continue. This is the hardest part, guys. Getting these things together. So, what I do is I cut it up a little bit from each end and then I meet in the center I just take them do like a little bunch like so take my Chanel stamp and wind it up so I'm just throwing them on the floor and I only have done the red one, guys. And just to do that, it's taking me like 20 minutes. So I gotta do the blue one and the red and the white one. Honestly, guys, the other two, the red and the blue, they were better quality than this white one. Look at this white one. Look at the edge. The other two was not like this. I have to work with this now. Hopefully. I could use this because it's already giving me problem. So let's see what I can do, guys. I still have this one anyways, but um, I don't know. This one came out kind of raggedy. So let's see what I can do with this one, guys. Let's see. I also find out that I just let it curl on herself from both sides like so like this and like this you know 
and then I take, I hold it in my hand like this, soft. Take my channel stamp, bring it around, and then squeeze it together and twist. And it still looks the same way that I'm struggling to make it. So yeah, I find that out when I was on, on the white one, which is the last one that I'm cutting. So I'm going to start with the three individual single colors, and then I'm going to um, put in between some of the um, red, white, and blue ribbon together, mesh together. So let me finish um, putting this together, and then we're going to continue from there. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put three of one color, three of one color, and three of one color. And then when I, let's say that if I do, let's say that if I do blue here, when I get in here, I will do white. And then when I get in here, I will do red. And then I'm going to match it like that because i don't even know how i'm gonna start it guys but let's get started right there's only one way to find out how it's gonna turn out so let's get started so let's start with red i'm gonna start with the red and of course this is the back so i'm going to put my chanel and then i'm going to twist it i am not going to cut any Thing into I'm actually done um, putting it uh, together just in case so see the only thing about this it moves so you have to make sure you have enough to uh, keep it tight so I'm gonna start with the red I got it all on the floor guys hopefully I have enough and if I don't have enough I will have to incorporate the other one so let me do the first row and show you what it looks like, guys. I'm telling you guys, this shape is not easy because you try to keep it as a star, you guys can see. And it doesn't look like a star, it looks like a circle, but I'm going to continue. And I had to change the pattern. Remember I said I was going to do white, red, and no. I had to go one red, one blue, one white. One red, one blue, one white. So I'm going to have to continue it like this. I know here I have three whites, but I will get that separated and I will continue one red, one blue, one white. And I'm only using the outside because it's hard to put it in between. This is what it looks like in the back. Of course, at the end, I will cut all these um, stems, but I think I'm still going to use this to put on the second one to make it really full. Because I don't want the I don't want the frame to show in between. So I'm going to continue. So like I, like I say, I'm doing one red, one blue, one white. So I'm over here. So one white. So one blue, one red, one white, one blue, one oh goodness, I lost the pattern. Anyways, I'm still gonna put one of each in between the colors. So I'm going to continue that and then I'm going to, um, I need to put one red. I need to continue the pattern and I got everything here on the floor and I'm running out of the, out of the thing. I was only be able to get 14 out of each. So yeah, guys. Okay. Where did I start it? I started over here. So I'm going to be putting a red one here. So I'm just going to continue putting in, putting them together. Hopefully my end result is nice. And even if it's not, I'm still going to show you guys what it looks like. As long as I could um, use it on my door, it's only going to be for the holidays, so that's going to be fine. It's not going to be for anyone. It's going to be for myself. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to continue with this, and I'm going to go all the way around and show you what it looks like. But it looks like a, um, it's going to turn looking like a circle, 
but it's fine because anyway, then it had a circle one at the Dollar Tree. So this is why I grabbed this one. So it's not a big deal. It's still going to look fine. So I'm going to continue that. And then I'm going to, uh, most likely I might have to cut the one with all the three colors in one. And I will incorporate that here as well. So we just want to make it full. And as long as they have the color for the holiday, it's not a big deal. So, and most likely I might have to use like a little dark, little bit of dark glue in the back, hot glue to keep it from moving because it shift and move. So yeah, guys, I'm going to do that. So let me continue with this progress. I'm putting now the ones that I have left. I don't have many left. I ran out of the white ones. Oh no, I still have one white one, but I think I ran out of all the other ones. So I still got to check underneath of this mess because I think I got stuff underneath. Let's see. Okay. All right. So I have one red. I have two reds and one white. So let's put this and then I'm going to show you what this look like. I think I'm still want to use the other one to put it in between to make it fuller in the center it looks i don't know i'm not happy with it i will let you know when i'm done so you know because right now it's still too soon to know see i mean don't get me wrong it's, it, it's all right but it's not you know i ran out of the mesh so maybe because i put too many over here but i put the same amount of them each a loop it just over here it doesn't look that full i don't know so i got these two let me put this two here and then i tell you what i'm going to do next maybe if i do a bow or wait a minute i got a bad voice I gotta flip it. I got it backwards, guys. So let me let me put these two that I have left and then I'll show you what it looks like again. Well guys, as you guys can tell, well I'm gonna point it out. Maybe you guys cannot tell, but I could. Did you guys notice here? I'm missing a blue one. I ran out of the blue first. Which it should have been the maybe the last one that I should have run out because I think I don't know. I don't know why I ran out of the blue first. But I have less white one. I have 13 white ones and 14 out of all the other ones. And I don't know. I really don't know, guys. But that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna cut this one and I'm going to put it on the inside because you see the inside it looks too, you could see the two rings. So I'm going to be using it on this, this one. I'm going to be putting it this one. Yeah, on the second one. Or should I, if I put it here, it's gonna look like the center. You know what, I'm gonna use it on the second uh, ring. I'm gonna do it like that. So all right guys, let me cut this. And if I would have known it was going to take more than this, I would have probably bought more. But I bought what I thought I calculated I was going to need. But it's fine. I just finished the video and then I'll go back and buy a few more uh, rolls of mesh. And I just finished it for myself over here. But I'm just showing you what it's looking like like this. If I like the end results, I will not purchase any more mesh because... That's four rolls, guys. I still got this one. That's three rolls, and this one will be four. So, guys, let, let me go ahead and cut this. Let me um do this, and I'll bring you back with the final results. Right now, guys, I'm working on filling in some gaps with this one. But this one really doesn't show any difference because it all blends in. So, yeah, guys, that's what I'm doing. Trying to uh, make a little 
puller so in the center so that's what we're doing with this that's what we're doing i mean it doesn't show any difference but and i didn't cut all of it so far i have added like maybe i think i cut 12 of them but i cut them smaller than what i cut the ones uh, for the main for the first one the red white and blue this one i cut them way smaller just to fill some gaps so that's what i'm doing right now guys this it doesn't show any different you guys can see so I don't know. I want to do something. I want the star and the center to show. Maybe I put like something white in there. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't know, guys. But uh, I don't know. I'm just going to continue filling it up until I run out of this. So I'm going to do that. Uh, like I say, I'm adding some here and there. What I think is it fit. What matter is that it has the colors for the holiday, you know? So, yeah, guys, that's what we're doing right now. Just adding in between. So, I'm going to continue. And guys, my arms itch because this, whew, you know, it scrapes you and it makes you itch. I don't know how people work with this mesh. But, yeah, guys. And you know how many times my bracelet got stuck in here? Crazy. But we're making it work. We're making it work, guys. We're making it work. That's what matters. When you start something, never give up, guys. Never give up. Even if you think it's not going to look good, just don't give up. Keep keep at it. Just keep at it. Um, quitting is throwing the towel, and that's not nope you gotta keep on doing doing what you want to do so what i want to do is <laughs> i want to finish this wreath and make it look nice to use in my door and like i said gonna have the colors for the holidays so i'm still gonna use it so that's what matters that's what matter. So what else I'm going to add? So I think here I'm going to add more because it looks like a big gap. So just to fill that up and just I'm going to continue with this. And like I said, I want to see what I want to do for the center maybe i put a white star in the middle so yeah guys let me oops let me continue with that and i'll be right back guys all right guys um i have a piece of foam here from an air condition that we got and I'm gonna cut a white star to put on the center of the reef to give it a little more view. So hopefully I can cut this without damaging the foam because this is the only thing that we have, that I have. So let me cut this. I'm gonna grab a blade. I'm gonna use a blade. So let me cut this and I gotta uh, heat up my glue gun. Hopefully, because this is foam. I mean, it's a hard foam, but I'm still going to try to do that. This little reef been a challenge, guys. It has been a challenge, but we're managing, guys. We're managing. So let me cut this and let me show you the end results. So, guys, I ran out of mesh. I used it all. Here in the center, I cut the foam and I put it in a, just to cover that white spot. So at least I could see something in the center. And now I'm just going to do about the best that I can. Even though I may have to go to Dollar Tree, as you guys can see, there's still some openings there. I mean, they're not, not that noticeable, but I could notice it, so it's bothering me. So 
I don't know if to do a bowl or what do you guys think? Should I just um put this like around it? Maybe on the inside. I could put one here on the center. Right there. Or I could just add some of this. Let's see. Because I don't want it to have too much too much stuff in it. So Maybe I could take two of these, okay. put one here and one in each side. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Or should I just put two in one side? And put two in one side and then take one of the, this thing and put it right there. I think that's what I'm going to do guys because I need the ribbon for the lantern remember guys we have the lantern coming up so let me do this and then I'll show you the end result and where I'm going to place it all right guys this is what it looks like I'm going to leave it like that um I got this ribbon but this is not a wire ribbon so it's gonna be hard to make a bow to like make a stand so I'm just gonna place it on my door and show you what it looks like guys so hold up. All right, guys, that's what it looks like. It's going to be in my front entryway, even though I still have my spring wreath there and I still have hearts in it from Valentine's. So I left it there because of Mother's Day. So that one is going to be coming off and then I will be putting that one in my door. But yeah, guys, that's what my wreath looks like. I hope you guys like it. I mean, I think that turned out all right, even though it's supposed to be a star but the mesh make it go in a circle so that's fine because that was my intentions anyway to buy a circle one they just didn't have any so guys let me leave it like i always say be kind to one another don't forget to smile overall stay safe stay healthy and remember guys god loves you and there will be lots of love for you too it will be into the next one bye bye guys